Welcome to the Mind of Business Success Podcast. I'm your host, Alicia Kramer. Our guest today is Alejandro Brady. He is a business coach and consultant, and we are going to talk about growing your business. So welcome to the show. Thank you, Alicia. It's really great to be here with you again. This is amazing. You are really immersed in a topic that I am also very passionate about, which is business growth. But you have a very different background because you've been in the trenches with businesses in a slightly different way than I have. So I've worked as a business development consultant for over a decade, side by side, along with my business mindset coaching practice. Um, But I'm usually working with small business owners on, you know, the the day to day business development type of of stuff and scaling and growing. You've worked with bigger organizations and you bring a depth of knowledge to the work that you do with your clients that I think is really top notch. So as we start to um, get into this conversation, I would love for you to take an opportunity and share with our listeners a little bit about you and your business so they have a frame of reference uh, for what it is that you are doing and how you're serving your clients. Well, it has been like a journey. You know, every entrepreneur uh, thing, you have to be like, understanding where are you coming from, what you are, you are going to be helping people. And really, uh, I agree with you, what you are saying, it's, it has been a, a, a really amazing business uh, strategy and things that I am doing. I started, okay, if I start to tell you, started with a dream, uh, like maybe 20 years ago, <laughs> something like that. When I was, I am from Guatemala, and I decided to to leave my country to study in Spain because I wanted to to become international. I wanted, if you study, study an MBA uh, in your country, you can be like talking with the people in your country. If you start to go to, even to the States, you get people from the States. And if you go to Europe, you get like more international. And that was exactly what I was looking for. Uh, so that's it started with that I got one way ticket to Europe and okay I, I didn't I was accepted by the university and they told me okay you are here let's join and, and I, I entered there that's a story that I can tell you later uh, but from there uh, I came back after the, the MBA and started to travel and, and the last 20 years I have been traveling and living in 15 countries so Really, I was not thinking like, okay, I'm going to be traveling to all these countries and I'm going to be doing business with all these uh, people. That was something that happened naturally after I was dreaming about it when I was young and started to to do it. And suddenly, really like two or three years ago, I was like, okay, let's see what is my resume. You know, what is the thing that I have done? And I have been working in 15 countries different countries, different cultures, different type of be doing business. I have been working from projects of $2 million to $600 million. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, you ask me and tell me, yes, how, how, what is uh, what you have been doing? And it's, yes, it's something that I wasn't expecting, but I planned at the beginning as a dream. And now you are working with clients in a slightly different way. So let's talk about that. Yeah. So right now what I am doing, it's, it's different things because what I understood, I started to, to understand what is business coaching and, and I started like, okay, this is amazing. I want to learn about this. And when I started to learn and learn and learn about it, I realized like, okay, this is what I have been doing the last 20 years. <laughs> it's not something that is new for me. Uh, so uh, that uh, helped me a lot. And, and I started to work with people again, even when my mother tongue is Spanish, 
I was always thinking about being international. And I really started uh, the, the entrepreneurial side uh, in English with people in, in the United States, in Canada. I have some people in, in Europe, a couple of customers there. And something that is happening really incredible is that right now I am getting a lot of people from Africa <laughs> and, and the English speaking people. Uh, for example, we have done a, a webinar today and I have, I believe that 90% or 95% of the people were from different parts of the world and 50% was from Africa. And I was like, okay, I, I started a dream again one, like 10 years ago, I went to know Africa. I went to do an adventure there. And I, I started to take some photos there. And right now I am having customers from Africa. So <laughs> this is amazing. And what I want to tell you is, okay, in my business right now, what I do is I help people and business owners find hidden revenue in their business. What that means? That means you have some things inside of your business that you don't know because you don't know <laughs> and the, the money is there and and that's the power of having somebody from outside that is bringing you some insights of the things that you can be doing because maybe that person knows about these different cultures or they know about different strategies that you can be do doing and that's exactly what i have done the last 20 years it's like okay i was in in costa rica and then i moved to chile and in chile they were like okay we do our thing this way because this is the best way and i was like no i have been doing this for five years in these other countries now we can implement this in this way i adapt also to that culture and started to understand from their point of view and from that point we created something different and amazing and from there, we moved to Bolivia and start to do exactly the same. And suddenly, like, something for you that is local, but it's bringing all the knowledge from all the other parts of the world. And that's, that's what I'm doing now. And not only as a strategy, but something that I, I agree, and that's why, why I love to talk with you, that it's about this mindset. And that's something that is key always, every time that you are talking and helping somebody is how is your mindset if you are really attracting what you should be attracting or not so there's a couple of different takeaways in what you just shared a big piece of this is we are no longer so compartmentalized as countries um you know on this big planet right we really have become more of an international family. Uh, certainly there's still some, you know, there's still some smoothing out to do, but the, the way that we're conducting business because of the internet allows so many of us to work internationally. I've been working with international clients for over a decade. Um, you know, I, I joke that I would work with clients on Skype. That was before Zoom was ever a thing, right? So um, we just are doing business differently. And that doesn't mean that some of the fundamental principles aren't still there, right? Business is business. But what you're talking about here is, and, and this is the other piece, is the mindset piece. You have to be open to expanding your your mind to new ways of doing things, new ways of being. And part of that is taking ideas from other industries. How can you implement them in your industry? Taking things from other cultures. How can you bring that into your business? Um, thinking outside of the box. And some people are very, very narrow minded and they're really comfortable in their status quo and they don't see the opportunities that are all around them in their business. So that's where you come in and you help shine light on those things. 
I'm curious from your perspective, how many businesses do you think are leaving money on the table because they're just not seeing opportunities that are readily available? If you ask me, every, every business really is, and it's not because I am helping and doing that, but really there is a saying that I have is like, okay, if you don't know, you don't know. And it's, it's because, and you feel like, oh, yeah, I know because I have been doing this million dollars. Yeah, but you can be doing 100 million. No, no, but I have been doing 100 million. Yes, but I, you can be doing a billion. And it's like always there is something else that you can be doing. And for example, uh, just to give you an example, yesterday I had a conversation with, I invite some, a friend uh, from, from other country to, to join my, my webinar today. And he told me, thank you, but I, am, I, don't, I don't need any help. I am okay. I don't need anything else. I am happy with what I have. I don't got, I can get another customer in my business. I was like, okay, this is really curious. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more because you don't need more. It's like, okay, we always need more. And he was like, no, I don't need more. And, and, and at the end he was telling me, uh, you know, Alejandro, uh, I asked him, do you have another, like the strategy? Do you need to change something? No, I don't need to change the strategy or anything. I think that he was thinking that I was pitching him, but the reality is that I wasn't doing that. I was really uh, trying to understand from his point of view. And he was exactly what you were saying, like narrow-minded, like, okay, I have this, I have my two cents and this is okay. And I don't need anything else. And sometimes maybe that's what you want in life and that's okay. <laughs> I am not judging that, but Another thing that we have learned really after this COVID that happened right now and still creating some issues right now in different parts of the world is like, yeah, you feel that you are secure with what you have right now, but tomorrow it's completely different. Something changes the business and, and everything changes. So if you ask me, every single business has an opportunity. When I, when I understood about this coaching and how powerful it is, because at the end, the coaching side, when I am coaching you, I am looking the answers that you already have. It's not like I am going to tell you exactly what to do. That's in the coaching side. In the strategy side, I can give you some strategies and let's see how we can implement that together with what, what you have. But the power of the coaching is much better than any course that you can get, anything why? Because we go deep inside of you and we go deep inside to understand, okay, why do you have this fear? Maybe it's because of something that happened 20 years ago or, or maybe it's something that happened yesterday, but it's affecting you right now and it's creating these fears around you that you don't, you can do exactly what you need to do. I'm currently in a, a mastermind that really has embraced the philosophy of asking questions. It's very much like what we do as coaches, pulling it out, right? And a lot of um, very type A uh, entrepreneurs, I've, and, and this of course is a generalization, right? <laughs> but um, you know, a lot of very, very driven, motivated type A, especially if they've got a lot of masculine energy, whether they're male or female, um, when you have a lot of experience or you have been, um, moderately successful in an area, you, you think, you know, it all right. And so when you're in a situation, whether it's, a, in a consulting type of situation, or it is in a mastermind, or you're with a group of your peers and someone is presenting their challenge, you immediately like you know, are jumping in and giving advice. And from my work, understanding how the mind works, that's really not the most effective strategy for most people. Now, some people will say, just tell me what to do, right? They've kind of gone into apathy. They're almost like, I give up, I surrender. I can't figure this out. They usually have some kind of, you know, self-esteem, self-confidence stuff, and they want to just 
somebody just give it to me, right? Just to help me out. But really the power is so much inside of us. Like we already have a frame of reference for what our clients might need, what other services they may um, be willing to invest in, how else we can better support our clients and customers. And we're just, it's like you, you see it, it's, it's there, but you don't see it at the same time because you're just not looking with though that set of eyes. So when you are extracting that out of people, do you find that the process is relatively quick and, and they can actually start getting implementable ideas right away? Or do some people typically require a little bit more finessing to get that out of them? If you ask me with, with what you were saying at the beginning, I believe that we as humans tend to ask for, okay, just tell me what I need to do and I will try it and, and that's it. That's the most simple thing to do and that's exactly what we want. Okay, I want my how to make this in three steps, what are the three steps, and, and I will try it. And if it didn't work, I am going to say, okay, Alicia, your three steps are crap. <laughs> and that's it. That, I, I need so much easier to-, to, yes, it's so much easier for that insecure part of us to place blame and give our power away. Exactly. But that's not what success really is. So, Continue. <laughs> so, for example, for me, it really depends how open is the person. If the person is like, yeah, I, I know that is, I need some help, but, 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 and but, it's like, maybe it could take some time. And, and really, this is a journey, and that's something that I always explain to people, even even when I want them to have quick wins and to grow quickly, sometimes it takes time to understand, okay, you have layers and layers of layers of things that you haven't worked in the last 20 years or 30 years. So we have to be working on that and understanding that. And even with what, what this that I am telling you, a part of what I, I do is work with a strategies that has understanding from your point of view. I show you, okay, these are my 20 strategies that I can be working on. These are the 12 strategies that are the most important ones. So from this point of view, for you, I believe these three or four are going to be quick wins for you. What, what do you think? Yeah, I like, no, yeah, yeah. We have a discussion on that. We plan around that. And suddenly like, okay, let's work on that because we need some quick wins to start to feel like, okay, yes, I am amazing. I have to celebrate. And that's something that is really important because we start to see like, okay, if I can get some momentum in little things, so the big things are going to be easier, you know, because I start to see like, okay, there is something that is happening here. So that's something that I, I love to do and to find exactly what are those quick wins for you and from that perspective, we continue working and growing and understanding what are the other things that we can be doing. So depends on the person, uh, how often uh, he or she is. Uh, but even with that, if they are willing and they, they want to do some changes, uh, we can find some ways to do it and to have quick wins and to have the money to, to, to do it. And that's another thing. Uh, with the strategies, I also, I always work with, a, I have a, a tool that I use and to start to do the numbers for depending on the other, the business owner in the other side. Okay, these are the steps that we are going to be taking with you. And if you follow this, just 10% of what we are uh, talking about, you are going to generate in the next six months, this amount. And they're like, really? <laughs> Is this possible? And, and they start to see the, the value of what we are talking about. So it's, it's really important that part to have quick wins. Something to tell you is to celebrate. That's something that we are not used to do. It's like, okay, yeah, we are high achievers. That means that I 
this is my job. I have to do it because this is my job. Yeah, this is your job. But if you celebrate after each quick win, you are going to start to, to teach your subconscious that you are amazing, that you can do it, that you can do bigger things. So your dreams could be bigger than what you expect right now. And that's, that's something that is really important. I love that. And that has come up on quite a few different episodes. This uh, tendency, especially for high achievers, to really be so focused on always achieving the goals and not really enjoying mm. the successes, not enjoying the wins, not enjoying the journey. And when they achieve the goal, they don't, they don't stop. They don't appreciate it. They're so they're, they're going so fast. And it's like, well, what's next? What's next? What's next? And so you just keep achieving and there's almost an emptiness something feels off and it's like, what is wrong here? And it, a lot of, a lot of this can be resolved by taking time to be mindful mm -hmm. and appreciating the success, appreciating every step that you're taking on your, your path. That's ultimately why we want to have the outcome. We want to feel good and if you can't allow yourself to create that in, and it is, it's, it is programming your subconscious mind, right? You don't just go from having the repetition of go, 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 go. It's not enough. It's not done. It's not enough. Go, 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 go to all of a sudden happily ever after everything is rainbows and butterflies. And now you're blissed out of your mind. There's an incongruency there. You have not conditioned your subconscious mind to have that type of response so what you've just shared is really valuable. And that's why I wanted to take a little bit of time to just highlight that because I mean, this is a group, this, li this listener base, this audience is a group of growth oriented business owners. And with that tends to come that very tendency to not appreciate, to not enjoy, to not celebrate. And we're not saying you go out and you buy a really expensive bottle of champagne and wake up with a hangover. We're saying embrace it, appreciate it, acknowledge yourself, give yourself the little pat on the back, give yourself some positive recognition because that helps to fuel more success. Yeah, and, and really, I agree with you. This is something that is really important. And I don't know if you have heard about neuroencoding. Uh, that's a, a word that it's, I am working a lot on that. Uh, and it's how to codify, recodify our brain to respond the best way possible, you know? And that means that you, we can codify ourselves uh, to respond the best version of ourselves. And, and that is key because sometimes we are thinking like, I, I was that high achiever that I am telling you that I was like, okay, I am finishing this amazing project. What is the next one? It's like the next second is already like, what is the next one? Okay, this is great, great team. Okay, let's continue to the next one. I need to do another thing. I have to reach another uh, goal. Uh, so I am always thinking about the next goal and I am forgetting about this little one, win, little, big, whatever, <laughs> and enjoy it. So the problem with that is my subconscious doesn't understand what is happening. It's like, okay, yeah, next, 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 next. And I am always feeling empty, as you say. So that's, that's key, that's really important. And something that I am doing I am going to give you a, a little uh, detail uh, that, that helps a lot. And I believe it's going to help a lot of people here. Uh, it's very extremely simple, <laughs> but it's very effective. Uh, every morning, if you put, you are in front of your mirror and you see yourself, but you have to stare at you and see your, your eyes directly and stare. You, you do a, a deep breath. 
you smile and say the four best words that you can say. Do you know what is that? What are those words? Alicia, I love you. Alejandro, I love you. And you do it five or 10 times and that starts to help you to start like, okay, confidence to start to improve, your life to start to improve. You are not looking the approval of everybody around you or I don't know, my boss or the other person or my wife or, or my neighbor, whatever. <laughs> because at the end we are always, even as high achievers, we are like, okay, what is the other guy saying right now? It's, is he like jealous about all the things? success that I have yes okay perfect I'm doing well uh, what is the next you are looking for others what they are thinking and it's not about them it's about you what are you reaching what are you doing what are you creating and if you are enjoying that journey or if you are just looking at the others what is happening with the others and I am no I have to be that billionaire because I am going to be better than the other one and, and this is not about that it's about you how you are going to the next level how you are loving yourself during this journey and that's i i can say to you this is this could be like the first five times maybe you're going to be like okay i am talking to me <laughs> i am saying those words to me but they really help a lot and if you test it and try it test it for 10, 10 days and you will see how you start to feel like, okay, yeah, I start to feel much better now. I don't know why, but this is great. That's an excellent reconditioning exercise. And that is essentially what is at the, the foundation of this entire, this entire podcast is doing that deeper work, creating that foundation for the success and not just the monetary success, not just the business accolades, not just the achievement of a higher status. It really is about feeling good in your own skin, loving your life. Um, it's that reconditioning because most of us didn't have the best conditioning growing up. And a lot of people don't even get to this place in their lives where they have a business. Uh, a lot of people are still dreaming, maybe someday, maybe someday, right? Because they can't get over those initial mindset hurdles. And then once you finally get to a point where you say yes to yourself, I mean, that's a huge accomplishment in and of itself, but let's be real here. It's not like all of a sudden, just because you decided to put up your shingle, that money and clients and all that stuff is just going to manifest automatically. Well, now the game really begins. And that's when the real inner work starts because you're going to bump up against all of that internal stuff. And a lot of people don't genuinely, wholeheartedly, honestly love, honor, and respect themselves because they're so full of mixed up messages that are not even true, but they're programmed in the subconscious mind. And you've got to clean all of that up and you've just got to keep working on your inner game so you can have that sense of, I love my life and I'm saying yes to myself and I'm going for it and I'm making it happen. And yeah, sometimes it's a little messy and sometimes I bump up against some of my old stuff, but it's absolutely worth it and I wouldn't have it any other way. And just to give you another insight uh, is, first is if you want to go further faster, this is the only way, starting by yourself, really. And I am not talking about which stage are you because it really doesn't matter. Uh, okay, that's great. You are at this level or in any level. If you are a millionaire already. That's great. Awesome. But are you enjoying the, <laughs> the journey or not? Uh, are you a billionaire? Great. That's awesome. Are you enjoying the, the journey? Are you working on yourself? Are you happy because of that? Your family is happy, your family is at your side, or you forgot about your family and they stay like, I don't know where, 
because you were looking for all those dreams because of them. And at the end, they are in another place and they are always almost forgetting about you because you don't longer live with them. So that's part of, of the things that I, I love to teach. I, I had that issue also. Like I, I was more focused on myself, really, than and my achievements than my family. And that became a, a big problem for myself. And, and that's one of the reasons I started to do this because I really want to help you as business owner to go to the next level. I have the strategies, I have the coaching, I have all the things to do it. But if you ask me, I want to work with you first as a person, not as a business owner. Uh, why? Because you need to be focusing yourself. And if, if that is well, everything else is going to start to work. So that's, that's the most important part always. So you shared a little bit of your own journey and, and you just even mentioned that you've had some not so great tendencies in the past that you've had to overcome. I always take a moment on every episode and ask my guest to share one thing that you had to overcome in your own mindset as a business owner to get to where you are today. So I'm curious, what would you like to share with us? Just one, it's, it's difficult. <laughs> it's a lot. Uh, I started to write a book uh, some months ago, and it's about believing yourself, believing your business. Uh, and really it started like, okay, I, I am not a writer. I was not thinking about myself as a writer and as an author. And I was thinking, okay, let's start to write my 12 darkest days uh, to start to understand how to help others. And, and I had several, uh, as, I, as I mentioned you, but one thing that I noticed uh, a few months ago, I have been working a lot. Uh, okay, I am okay with having just 20 customers. I don't need more than that. That's, that's enough. I am happy with that. Uh, I, do, I, I can have my life, I can have several things at the same time. So I was focused on that area and just working enough to have those 20 customers working with me. And that was one of the things that I was doing. Uh, then suddenly uh, I joined uh, one of the uh, workshops that Grant Cardone has. And I was and and I was hearing to him. I I was not like okay. I need to learn everything that he's going to share. But but I am with an open mind here to understand and get something. And one thing that I got from him that I really realized that I was not doing is big dream. Of course, I can be working with twenty and I can change twenty people. But why why only twenty people? Why not 100? Why not 200? And I am not, that doesn't mean that it's going to be those 20 people, those 100 people are going to change by me or something. But if I can be a person that change their family, change their way of thinking, they start to enjoy the journey. So I am making that something that matters. So uh, I, I always talk about these uh, two little magnets and these are my, my new friends. <laughs> and one of the things that I am learning from this uh, and, and it's part of, of your question right now about this, it's not trying to, to change, but when I realized, I started to ask, what is my why? Why I am doing this? why I want to help business owners. And I realized like, okay, being a, an entrepreneur, if you, you start, when you are starting, you are like a solopreneur. And if you start to grow, you continue to be that solopreneur. <laughs> why? Because you have to take all the decisions and at the end is 
okay, you can have even a board of directors that can help you, but at the end you have to take the decision. So what happens if I have a, a dream that is bigger than me and I start to be pulled to that dream? And if you ask me uh, all the time that I have been working with customers uh, around the world, one of the things that I learned is uh, that I have been doing all the time is pushing because I am a high achiever and I want them to achieve exactly what I want. I have all the mindset, okay, this is the thing that we need to do. These are the goals. This is everything. I have my complete plan and everything. And I am pushing, 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 pushing everybody. And, and it's like, if, if they are not uh, delivering, so next, I have to delete this person from my team. I have to look for another one. Uh, and I really started to think like, okay, I am that type of person that really the only thing that matters to him or to me was numbers. And when I started this journey, I started to realize like, no, I care more about people than numbers. And the only way to do that is to have a dream that is bigger than me. So I am pulled to that dream and people start to be pulled to that dream. And, and that is going to help you to, to really uh, get to the next level. And, and that's what is changing my game and everything is understanding this, my big why, having that big why very clear, starting to share that mission to others. I don't want you to be alone. I want to work with you. I want to grow with you. I want to help you to get the insight that you already have, all the information that you have pull them out and start to put all the people around you uh, being pulled to that and you stop pushing. <laughs> At the end, it's something that sometimes, say, oh yeah, this is great because I have the power to push everybody. And at the end of the day, you are like, okay, I need some help because I am really tired. I don't want to be pushing nobody else. I don't understand why I have to be pushing all day. And the next day, okay, but this is powerful. I can push that. I love that. There's, I, I would love to go off on a tangent about that. And I'll, I'll just say real, real briefly, because I know we're almost out of time here. One of the things I love to teach my clients, especially those who are maybe somewhat new to understanding the laws of the universe and metaphysics is there is a distinction between power versus force. Power is that magnetism that you're talking about. That is when we are in a higher vibrational state and we become magnetic to the people, the circumstances, the opportunities, everything we need to fulfill our desire. Force is a lower vibration. It involves our resistance, our limiting beliefs, um, negativity in many cases, which is fueled by fears, doubts, insecurities, all of those old limiting beliefs, kind of, a, it's a different mindset. When you are operating from the vibration of power versus the vibration of force, it has a multiplication effect in terms of your effectiveness and productivity, you're in alignment with yourself, you're congruent with yourself. If you're spiritual, you might say you're in alignment with God or the universe or how, you know, you're supported by higher forces, right? Outside forces. But in reality, it doesn't matter which way you want to look at it. We can all feel it, right? Mm -hmm. You can feel that when you are locked into your big why, something's different inside of you. You're, you're driven in a different way. And it feels, even though you're still going to stumble, sometimes you're still going to fall. Sometimes things are not going to go exactly as great as you might like them to, but there's a different energy that's propelling you forward and amazing things happen when you get into that vibration of power, instead of the old disempowering way that a lot of people are still doing business and life, which is trying to force things, force things to happen, force, you know, push through the resistance. 
so much easier when you don't have the resistance. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's exactly what what I am talking about, and this is great. Thank you for for saying that. So I I agree. We have to be being pulled and and pulling everybody <laughs> to <laughs> that big dreamer than than us. That that's amazing. So now tell our listeners how they can connect with you. I am in all the social media. Uh, the one that I use most is LinkedIn uh, with my last name, B-R-A-T-T-I. Uh, so I am connected there. And if you want, I have my website. It's brightybusinesscoaching.com. Uh, so just let me know uh, if you need any help or you want to be talking about how to create this, how to find 10K, 100K, it really depends on you. Uh, how much time do you have to to, to fit it? But uh, I can find it for you and that, that will be amazing to do it. Awesome conversation. Thank you so much for being with us today. I think there were a lot of great takeaways and we got to talk about two of my favorite subjects, business development and mindset. So <laughs> <laughs> that's why we are here because we love both things. So <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Thank you, Alicia. You are so welcome. And thank you so much to all of our listeners. If you haven't already subscribed, please make sure you do so. And until next time, we will see you in the next episode. Thank <laughs> you.